House and Senate Republicans are calling for a special session in the state legislature after they say their constituents experienced sticker shock when they opened their July electricity bills. News aide Tina Detell was at the news conference in Hartford. She joins us live now in Old Saybrook near one of Eversource's Connecticut substations. Tina. You know, Ann and Darren, substations like this, of course, help keep the lights on. And so did a moratorium imposed by the state back during the pandemic. And that was for people who couldn't pay their bills, but they were able to keep their power on. Republicans now say that all ratepayers are footing that bill and they want that changed. We're here today to say enough is enough. Our ratepayers are paying too much. Republicans are now revisiting proposals they first introduced in February, some of which focus on the public benefits portion of the electric bill. Most of the public benefits, about 77 percent, support the agreement to buy power from the Millstone nuclear power plant. But the rest pays for the moratorium, which allowed people who couldn't pay their electric bill during the pandemic to keep their power on. We should be looking at how we offset this $200 million of public benefit charges with, with, with general fund money. Republicans want to use COVID relief or ARPA money as well as surplus money to pay off that debt and give immediate relief to ratepayers. They also want the public benefits moved off of the electricity bill and into the state general fund. We're moving it on to the state budget in which it's prioritized with everything else. There's full transparency. By the way, when legislators say paid for by the general fund, that's a uh, language for mean paid for by the taxpayers. Republicans also want to put a cap on what the state pays for government directed electricity contracts and have a clean energy strategy which gives all resources consideration. Um, secure our natural gas supply in the winter to reduce costs and ensure reliability. They also want changes made to Pura, the regulatory commission which oversees the state's utility companies. We are supposed to have five members on that, that commission. Right now we have three. The GOP is calling on the governor to call a special session so they can all get back to work this summer on what they say would be short-term and long-term savings. The governor says he's happy to talk to leadership if there are recommendations which would have an immediate impact on ratepayers. If there are real things that would make a difference, something I would consider if we're just, you know, quibbling about how many pure commissioners we have or something, probably we don't have to rush that. Now, I did reach out to Eversource, and I was told that they did not have a comment right now on what they really say seems more like a legislative or pure issue. We're live in Old Saybrook, Tina Detell, News 8.